You should already have created a GitHub account and created a github.io repository as described in the first video of this series. In this video, you will download the GitHub desktop tool, enter your GitHub account information, and clone your repository to your local computer. Go to https desktop.github.com and click the Download GitHub Desktop button. This tool is available for both Mac and Windows, but not for Linux. Once downloaded, install and open the application. The download is over 100 megabytes and will take some time, but the installation is pretty much the same as with any other tool downloaded from the Internet. With the tool installed and open, the first step is to enter your GitHub username and password to allow the desktop tool to communicate with your repositories on GitHub.com. Windows users will click the sprocket icon in the upper right corner. Choose Options. Then, under Accounts, click Add Account. Under Login, choose GitHub. Type your credentials, then click Login. Mac users will select GitHub Desktop from the menu bar. Choose Preferences, then select Accounts. Type your credentials, then click Sign In. When done, close the dialog box where the account was created and return to the application. To clone a repository is to make a copy of it. In this case, your copy will be on your local machine. Here is where you will build and test your website. When ready, you will commit your changes and sync them to your actual GitHub repository. It is from there that the world will be able to see your website. In the top left corner, click the plus symbol. In the top menu, of the new dialog box, click Clone. Select your repository, for example, userdemo22.github.io, from the list of provided repositories. At the bottom of the menu, click Clone, whatever your repository name is. A dialog box will open asking where to save the repository. Place it where you know where it is at then click Clone. It is very important that you understand that the GitHub Desktop Tool is not a code editor. It is simply a management tool. Its use is solely to track your local files and sync them with the remote server. In the next video, we will create a simple web page locally using brackets, then commit and sync the file using the GitHub Desktop Tool. Then we will view the web page in your browser from your GitHub repository.